for the maternity leave, the additional four weeks, the government is going to uh, pay the full amount as what we propose, the uh, amount of maternity leave pay that should be paid, uh, which is 80% uh, uh, of the salary and up to a maximum of uh, 36822 uh, dollars per, uh, per four weeks, uh, basically. If we ask the employers to bear the full cost of the whole period of 14 weeks of maternity leave, according to international experience, and actually it is a conclusion of the International Labour Organization, such an arrangement will be unfavorable to female employees because that would likely lead to more practices that will not in favor of employing potential female uh, platinum uh, employees. You can actually think that the responsibility of financing maternity leave should not rest on the employer per se, because it is basically a social policy for all female uh, citizens in, in, in Hong Kong. So there is a public dimension and policy dimension. So there is a role for the government to pay. Uh, in other, many other places, most, mostly, that payment of maternity leave or paternity leave or sometimes called parental leave is primarily by insurance. And in fact, in some of the countries, the, the insurance is paid by the employees themselves instead of the employers themselves. So, so to, to look at this this way, but we don't have such a social insurance type of arrangement in Hong Kong. So the best alternative is for the government to finance the additional four weeks. So there is no intention that this arrangement will face out in the future.